good afternoon my dear students welcome back to all for sri guru independent view online classes in the last class i could discuss with the school boy whereas my dear colleague mr vishwanath sir could discuss or manushyan and today we are going to discuss babar ali by samarpita mukherjee sharma well my dear students before going to babar ali let us discuss the introduction of the authoress in what way samarpita mukherjee sharma talks about and what is her opinion in this regard and what is her conclusive remark on babar ali and even what she is exactly a note on the author samarpita mukherjee sharma is the associate creative editor of youth leader india associate creative editor of youth leader india samarpita mukherjee sharma is creative editor of youth leader magazine india she works with youth leader magazine india the the india chapter of youth leader magazine the india chapter of youth leader magazine because very few people are working with the magazines and editorial columns in the media particularly in journalism though we come across so many reporters but very few of them are going to write in the editorial columns through which they recognize themselves that they are going to be the contributive editors or contributing people in the field of newspaper or journalism obviously samarpita mukherjee sharma is one among them here my dear students she is a member of dynamic action oriented member of she is the dynamic action oriented uh, action oriented in the sense who is going to take an initiative and who happens to be the problem solution i mean one who is going to solve all kinds of problems in the online magazine network and this online magazine network focusing on ground breaking ground breaking in the sense innovative most of us see is ground breaking ground breaking in the sense what innovative she is having innovative right concepts ground breaking initiatives she wants to bring us an innovative or creative challenges through her magazines especially about the youth especially about the youngsters especially about the people who are contributing their different kinds of achievements in this country well ground breaking positive change initiatives she wants to give different challenges through different people i mean especially youth should understand the importance of their strength their ability i there even courage how they can be able to be beyond their imagination 
she not only brought here initiatives but at the same time portraits the artistic representation of a person she represented here through her work in what way one can be able to know the difficulties and how to overcome in this competitive world tools and more i mean what are the tools to be used or what are the skills to be used in one's life to bring changes that is the reason my dear students let me tell you one quote where well, before going to start the lesson you are challenge the challenge before the challenge challenges you i mean we have to challenge then only we can be able to understand and we can set a particular goal otherwise we cannot set for any particular goal neither we become strong nor we become weak we will be moderate otherwise we will be nowhere else in the world well anyways now let us come to babar ali so what is what is the contribution of babar ali babar ali happens to be the world's youngest headmaster remarkable changes in the world so he is he has been considered as the world's youngest headmaster by bbc world's youngest headmaster world's youngest headmaster considered or recognized by bbc in october 2009 and even babar ali babar ali is not only the youngest headmaster but at the same time he has been included in forbes magazine he is one among top 30 youth contributors my dear students he has such a wonderful brain where he has become a very good model an extraordinary model to the youth of course in our country we have almost 60 percentage of population are youth and country is leading with highest percentage of youth that is the reason we have a wonderful strength we have wonderful man power but are we going to use with this man power are we inkel are we being inculcated with new skills new ideas in order to invent something so that is the questionable thing by reading babar ali's lesson we can understand how he has been a great figure i mean a cult figure for all of us i mean famous personality for all of all of us well my dear students uh, uh, who was born on 18th march 1993 in murshidabad babar ali
well in pre reading activity do you know of people who have brought about a transformation in the lives of their fellow beings my dear students do you know that how many people have brought till date the transformation in the lives of the people i mean changes that to remarkable changes he has brought about the remarkable changes right words in his divine master adopted and are recognized by the bc all right and more words and he is the recipient of real heroes award by cnn real heroes award received the real heroes award by cnn indian news channel while well, my dear students uh, this is great thing that one can achieve when he is great when one who when one he who is skilled when he who is completely with extraordinary skills then only one will be given such awards the real heroes award went to mr babar ali this is great thing right in the same year that is in 2009 itself babar ali must be the youngest headmaster in the world as he is only 16 he is just when he was when he was recognized as the world's youngest headmaster he was just at the age of 16 years this is totally beyond the imagination at the age of 16 can you be able to do anything my question is can you be able to do can you be able to achieve anything it's one herculean task it is one difficult task for everyone of course he is a teenager who is in charge of teaching hundreds of students in his family's backyard he is teaching hundreds of students in his family's backyard it's truly challenging thing at the age of 16 most of the boys most of the children are going to get settled in their education not completely but partially they don't even know what they are doing in which educational stream they are perceiving what sort of education they are perceiving they are unable to understand it but whereas bavarali is able to think he is completely matured and he knows how to solve the problems of the poor people's children's education and how to deal with that he has come to know when he runs classes for poor children from his village the story of this young man from murshidabad in west bengal is a remarkable tale of the desire it is truly the story of a young man and remarkable story of babar ali who brought changes in murshidabad west bengal of course to learn amid the direst poverty to learn amidst in the sense among amidst the direst in the sense critical poverty amidst poverty amidst direst poverty very critical situation he is not even a uh, rich he was not born with a silver spoon so amidst the direst poverty how could he able to achieve as a famous educationist as a famous mentor as a famous teacher as a famous headmaster this is not common thing for everyone to be a great master many of us many of us will prepare to win in the examination but very few will have will to prepare to win in the exam
examination, my dear students. That is the reason one should one should try to know before going to choose a model in our life in what way one's personality is going to matter us. In the same way, Mr. Babarali's lesson has been prescribed for you people. I mean, for first PUC English, it's because the students' community should get always influenced and they should learn at least something from him if not everything from him. Obviously, all cannot be Babarali, but at least few can be like Babarali, if not as if Babarali. This is the main important thing over here, my dear students, that we need to understand. Our Bangladesh based wild volunteer, young leader, wild in the sense, youth leader, why means youth, young means leader. My dear students, and this story came from who introduced him? Who introduced us this story? I mean, initially, this story was introduced in Bangladesh from youth leader Wali Chia Tanvir would like to introduce you to this extraordinary change maker. I mean, she is going to introduce us his story. Whose story? Babar Ali's successful story. Obviously, Babar makes up. Let us come to know now what is the daily routine of Mr. Babar Ali. Daily routine, what he does. of Babar Ali. What he does when he wakes up in the morning and what are the activities that he do? Babar wakes up every morning at 7 and starts his day by doing some household chores. He wakes up at 7 in the morning and what he does? He just completes all his daily activities. I mean morning activities or some other works which are assigned to him, he finishes them all, then he takes an auto rickshaw first and later walks 5 kilometers to the Kasim Bazar Raj Govinda Sundari Vidya I mean what he does, as soon as he completes his household course, he takes an auto rickshaw and he walks 5 kilometers to attend his college where it is situated, where Kasim Bazar, Rajagovinda, Sundari, Vidya Pita. He attends the classes where he is second year student. He is also a still student. He is not completely a teacher. He is not completely a mentor here. He is completely a student. I mean, being a student, he is called as a headmaster. Why he is called as the headmaster of his school? Because he has learned how to teach the children and how to, yes, how to help the society compared to other people. He is one exceptional figure. That is the reason he has been uh, recognized as world's youngest headmaster. Babar is the thin and gangly boy who sits in the middle of the front row. He is gangly, very tall and very thin. Sits at middle of the front row, studious, very serious about studies. He is very much studious, my students. Or a company, or a company. 
नहीं पियोनियर्स ही इज द पियोनियर इन द एजुकेशन इन हिज फैमिली पर्टिकुलरली हु मिस्टर बाबर अली इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू गेट एजुकेशन दिस इज ट्रूली ग्रेट एंड वाज द फर्स्ट we come across there are many doctorates there are many <coughs> excuse me sorry for the inconvenience my dear students there are many post graduates there are many phd holders there are many masters in that subjects they can't able to be the best masters of their own particular languages it depends on one's abilities one skills how he that how he is going to deal with them always in the same way babarli is one among them we are all right in school he is an ideal student but it is what he does after his school hours and intrigues the entire world i mean he is just a student there he is one studious he is one hard working and whatever he does the entire school does not know anything i mean he is attending the classes like others and he is also learning and he is also attending he is not only attending the classes but other than that what he is doing other students in in his school they do not know anything. but still he does something different that is the reason if we do things in a different way people will recognize us if we do the same thing like others people will never understand us people will never recognize us and we will not be reputed we will not be popular in a society that is the reason my dear students perhaps one who works in a different way one who enters on a different path definitely he will be more challenging like babarli here all right uh, my dear students well uh, first paragraph to be underlined when every other teenager goes running off to the playgrounds and gets busy with football cricket and other sports when we compare with teenagers i mean other students what they do they just go for playing different games in the sports ground but whereas mr babar ali he does not do anything he does not go for playing in the afternoon or in the evenings why he has to spend his time for his school so making the children to be more educated making the children to be more changed making the children to be more receptive and creative that is the reason he is trying to bring the changes even even he is a student of course he being a student he still works for the sake of the deprived one the disadvantaged children this is beyond the imagination beyond the human imagination that is why babar makes his way to an afternoon school where he is the headmaster of a school of 800 students my dear students it's very difficult task that is why i just even told you people little while ago it is one herculean task for one to be a teacher or the headmaster for 800 students right now he is the headmaster for 800 students well my dear students imagine it's can you be able to teach for your friends at the age of 16 you you may teach your friends you may teach your neighbors but you can't teach hundreds to gather students why you can't teach hundreds to gather because one needs that goods one needs that courage one needs that ability one needs that faculty-ness one needs that daring audacity one should have that daring one should have three d's determination 
devotion and dedication my dear students we need to have these three things in our students life particularly like babarali now welcome to babarali school welcome to babarali school dilapidated means completely damaged or annihilated or destroyed his school benches are completely damaged his school building is not in a position to look at it and it, it's a concrete structure is completely damaged and it is about to be pulled down very soon in half torn postures half of the structure of that building is completely torn it is about to be damaged it is about to be pulled down or collapsed within a few days or months inside in a tiny dark room very small room is there behind a desk sits someone even the queen of elizabeth knows by name and you should too i mean even queen elizabeth of england knows that how babarali is at the age of 16 he is a remarkable changer and he is one educationist at the same time obviously you can't you can't make a change you you can't if you are not able to make any changes you can't do anything that's all at least we should try to we should try to do that always and mr babarali here is going to bring changes even queen elizabeth knows him well behind the office is a gate that opens to babarali's home this is where rows of poor and underprivileged kids sit under the open blue sky this is not well furnished classroom where we are talking about babarali school his home is not completely i mean where he is going to take the classes in his family's backyard only there are not well furnished rooms and even well equipped labs benches are not quality they are not newly well furnished and everywhere we don't find such a disciplined but still it is though it is very small room and at the same time he sits there and he conducts the classes in open blue sky itself under the sun now we must see how he is going to take the classes right and many students are sitting under privileged under privileged in the sense disadvantaged those who are unable to attend the classes those who don't have money to attend the classes well my dear students and the learn the part what most children in the modern world pay hundreds of dollars for for free now babarali is providing them free education without receiving any single penny whereas now we are paying lakhs together for even lkg and ukg courses preschooling for preschooling admissions for one first standard from first standard to till fifth standard we are paying lakhs to get money for taking admissions in popular schools or english medium or cbsc schools whereas this guy wants to educate every children i mean every child every child of his village murshidabad without getting any single penny that will be free of cost this is what 
this is what completely a social service that's what lord shankarashwar says that service is to humanity is service to god i mean if we serve the human beings definitely that is uh, nothing but we are serving to god itself my dear students all right this is where 800 kids who are deprived from their basic right for education walk miles to learn free of cost the basics and fundamentals of life they walk miles together to reach to whom they reach miles together to reach school now they don't have money to pay for the transport i mean buses or for autos or for they don't have money to pay even for fuel in order to bring the bike they don't have any money to buy any bicycle they are penniless they don't have any single rupee a coin with them so how can they get educated it's because of only babar ali babar ali is providing them the education in the afternoon after he attends the classes he attends the classes for the children here he conducts the classes for the children this is truly beyond the human human imagination are human beings his service is completely exceptional you can't believe his service that how he is well my dear students now let us continue so let's take a minute over here and think while we whine about our allowances when we talk about whenever we have we complain whine about in the sense high pitched complaining cry high pitched complaining cry whine about whine high pitched complaining cry or to make a loud sound loud cry w h i n e whine when we whine about something we whine about something about the facilities when it comes when it comes to the education particularly in well suited and even well suited uh, when we come across with well suited families children and even people who are born with silver spoons i mean who are born with rich families they they don't want education they want only facilities my dear students they want only facilities if they have all the facilities in the school they go there whether teachers are there or not they do not find that is the reason babarli says that babarli doesn't matter with the building babarli doesn't matter with the classrooms babarli matters with the education learning teaching and learning process should be in a well manner it should be given without having any difficulties to the children whether they sit on the ground or somewhere else on the grass but the students must be educated at any point of time that is his main motto my dear students on first about staying out late we pay much attention to unwanted things first about means paying much attention to unwanted things why do we give much attention to the unwanted things i mean fuss about something because we want to have more facilities for this then what we are supposed to be what we need to do we are not trying to understand it but we want facilities whether we are able or not we are not thinking about anything now as a student this average boy from a small village is actually helping to make this world a better place this average boy is making the entire world a better why it's because of his mindset it's because of his intellectual ability 
Well, today, all around the world, where millions of children are being deprived from literacy because their families cannot bear the expenses, millions of children are not able to come to school and attend the classes. But he knows that they are unable to buy the bag, school bag, buy the books and pay the school fees. They are unable to have once a meal a day. This is truly a disgusting thing, my dear students. Many students are on fasting. They are unable to even have a meal a day. It's one worse thing that. But in this, in this critical situation, in this in this totally direst poverty, how he has made, how he has made the children to attend his school, how he has taken the time and protected the time for his, his school children, this is totally wonderful. And obviously, this one school boy from India is trying to change that and so at the age of 16, Babarali is the world's youngest headmaster, right? Nobody can bear the expenses of school in the today's world in this respect or at this point of time, Mr. Babarali, how he has become a remarkable changer for the entire world at the age of 16, it is truly beyond our imagination, my dear students. That is the reason. So, Babar Ali cannot be compared with any other people, particularly uh, when it comes for education. That too, when we compare with the youth. Well, in the today's class, hope you have uh, watched so far till uh, this paragraph and from next class, I mean from next video, next session onwards, we will be studying how Babar Ali will be effective in teaching by recruiting the teachers and how his school will be beneficial and helpful for his school children will be discussed. Those who have now patience and tolerance, please keep going through such wonderful stories like Babar Ali so that you will be motivated always. Please keep going through and study it carefully and seriously. Thank you very much for listening to today's class and keep subscribing Sri Guru Independent View online classes. Thank you very much.